I'm Kelsey and I'm 15 and I would like to know who was Homo erectus. Hi, I'm Nicholas Kilzer, Senior Science Editor at World Book Encyclopedia. I'm here in the Anthropology Department at Northeastern Illinois University to talk about who was Homo erectus. Homo erectus is a prehistoric species of human ancestor. The first fossils of Homo erectus were found in the island of Java in 1890 and 1891 by a Dutch scientist named Eugene Dubois. This is a cast of the fossil that he found. It's a portion of a skull that shows some very unusual anatomy. The skull is very long with a low sloping forehead. The bones of the skull are extremely thick, much thicker than a modern human being. And also, there's a large strip of bone across the eyes, what scientists call a brow ridge. The brain case of Homo erectus is about half the size of that of a modern human. When Dubois published his discovery in the 1890s in Europe, many scientists did not consider Homo erectus to be a human ancestor. They thought Dubois had discovered an unusual species of prehistoric ape. But other fossils that Dubois found along with this skull indicated that this creature walked on two legs, just like human beings. In the 1920s, scientists found other prehistoric human fossils at a site called Joko Dien, outside of Beijing in China. Excavations at this site over the next 30 years revealed many fossils that scientists have reconstructed like so. These fossils are also classified by scientists as Homo erectus. So by 1950, Homo erectus was known from sites in China and in Java in Asia. In the 1960s, scientists discovered examples of Homo erectus in Africa. The fossil specimens from Africa were much older than the fossil specimens from Asia. This example of Homo erectus from Kenya is dated to about 1.6 million years old. Because the fossils in Africa are older than the Homo erectus fossils from Asia, scientists understand that Homo erectus originated in Africa and was the first prehistoric human species to migrate out of Africa. Some scientists classify specimens that we call Homo erectus from Africa into a different species that they call Homo ergaster. Other scientists disagree and lump all of the African fossils together with the Asian specimens under one species that they call Homo erectus. Homo erectus made fine stone tools by chipping flakes off large rocks like this cleaver and this teardrop shaped hand axe, which they used to butcher animals that they may have hunted for their diet. Homo erectus disappears from the fossil record around 300 to 400,000 years ago. At that time, Homo erectus is replaced with more modern looking creatures, which scientists call Homo heidelbergensis. This is another species of prehistoric human being that many scientists think is directly ancestral to our own species, Homo sapiens. 